All right, so sometimes you have the end of your rope and you just need a, a quick stopper knot. So I tie an overhand uh, stopper knot, figure eight stopper knot, a slipped stopper knot. But sometimes the end of my rope, I need a loop. Okay? So I need a, a, um, a loop that's going to hold itself in position so I can hook a carabiner. I can drop this over something, make maybe a piling hitch or something. But I need a loop. All right. So the uh, the most common loop that we're going to use uh, in most of your field craft uh, by far is going to be the bowline. So <clears throat> here's how you tie the bowline. I'll show you first what the bowline looks like, and then we'll come back and tie it. Okay. So there's your basic uh, bowline knot. Right? It's got a loop that can take a lot of weight. I can uh, hook into this loop. Um, I wouldn't use it necessarily for climbing, but we'll talk about that anywhere your life depends on it. But it's an all-purpose loop that's quick to tie, great. And no matter how much weight uh, it, or tension it's under afterwards, the bowline is great because it's super easy to untie. A lot of notes, uh, notes, a lot of knots will collapse um, or bind down so tight they're almost impossible to get loose. So here's how you're going to do this. <clears throat> it, for the, the video purposes, our standing end is coming from my left and my working end is over here on my right. First thing I'm going to do is make an overhand loop. Okay? It's an overhand loop because my working end is crossing over the standing end on top. And then I'm going to hold at the crossing. Okay? Now I'm going to take my working end, which is now my rabbit. And my rabbit is going to come out of his hole. So from underneath that overhand loop, the rabbit comes out of the hole. Okay? The rabbit is then going to go behind the tree, which is the, the standing end. The rabbit goes behind the tree, and then it's going to go right back down the hole. Just think about following the path that you'd already come out of the hole. Once the rabbit's back through the hole, I'm going to hold uh, that working end, the rabbit, and uh, his pathway in the loop. And then I pull my standing end until the knot dresses up. And I end up with my bowling loop. You know you did it right if the working end is inside the loop parallel to one of the, the limbs of the loop. Okay? So that's your basic bowling. If I had a little bit longer uh, free end, I could tie an overhand stopper knot or half hitch around that uh, limb of the loop so it wouldn't collapse. <clears throat> that's your basic bowling okay? with the little story. Okay? You make the hole at the overhand loop. Make sure you're crossing... Uh, above the standing part, I hold the crossing in my thumb and forefinger. My rabbit comes out of the hole, right? Right? looks around, goes behind the standing end, or in this case, under the standing end, around the tree, back in the hole. I grab the rabbit, I pull the standing end tight, and now I've got my bowling loop. 